hi to all in this video we are going to see about design of stator winding of synchronous machines stator winding is made up of former wound coils of high conductivity copper of diamond shape these windings must be properly arranged such that the induced emf in all the faces of the coils must have the same magnitude and frequency like that the coil should be arranged these emfs must have same wave shape and be displaced by 120 degree to each other okay since single or double layer windings may be used depending on the requirement the three phase windings of the synchronous machines are always connected in star with neutral earth star connections of endings is eliminates the third harmonics from the line EF EMF that's why instead of going for delta connections we are going star connection so third harmonics will be eliminated in nature okay double layer winding stator windings of the alternators are generally double layer lab windings either integral slot or fractional slot windings full pitched or short current or quartered windings may be employed following are the advantage and advantage of double layer winding when you go for double layer uh, uh, single layer is the double layer is the single layer um, one slot one winding whereas double layer one slot two windings will be placed okay better waveform by using short pitched coil that's the advantage of double layer saving in copper okay length of the overhang is reduced by using short pitched coils lower cost of coils savings in copper leads to reduction in cost fractional slot windings only in double layer winding leads to improvement in waveforms some of the disadvantages is also having the double layer windings difficulty in repair because which we are going to place two layers in single slot so we can't easily identify uh, where the fault occurs so difficulty in repair difficult to repair lower layer coils okay second one difficulty in inserting the last coil because two layer two layers difficulty in inserting the last coil of the windings higher insulation needed most more insulations required for double layer winding because two layers two wires two conductors should be connected in, to place in a single slot so between the conductors we need more insulations okay turn surface so turn per phase can be calculated from ef equation induced emf e phase is equal to 4.44 f by t phase kw from this if you want the turn per phase t phase is equal to e phase divided by 4.44 f by kw e phase is nothing but induced emf per phase z phase number of conductor per phase and t phase number of turns per phase kw is nothing but winding factor may assume the value will be 0.955 okay conductor cross section area of cross section of stator conductors can be estimated from the stator current per phase and suitably assumed value of current density for the stator winding so sectional area of the stator conductor as winding is equal to is stator current divided by del s where del s is current density in stator winding is is stator current per phase a suitable value of current density has to be assumed considering the advantage and disadvantage advantage when we go for higher value of current density reduction in cross section reduction in weight reduction in cost if you go for high value of current density at the same time it is having some disadvantage also increase in resistance increase in copper loss increase in temperature rise because a small place that we are giving a high value of current density when the current density will be high the temperature generated in the coils will also be high that's why increase in temperature rise 
reduction in efficiency when the temperature increases obviously the efficiency will be reduced hence higher value is assumed for low voltage machines and small machines usual value of current density for stator winding is 3 to 5 amps per millimeter square stator coil two types of coils are employed in stator windings or alternators they are single turn bar coils or multi turn coils comparison of two turn coil and as follows multi turn coils winding allows greater flexibility in the choice of number of slots than single turn bar, bar coils multi turn coils are formed wound or machine wound whereas a single turn coil is and made only bending of top coils involved in multi turn coils which is bent such bends are not required in single turn coils replace of multi turn coils difficult compared to single turn coils machine made multi turn coils are cheaper than hand made single turn coils this these are the some of the difference between single turn and multi turn coils in connection of multi turn coils are easier than soldering of single turn coils full transport transposition of the stands of the single turn coils are required to eliminate the eddy current loss each turn of the multi turn winding is to be properly insulated thus increasing the amount of insulation and reducing the space available for the copper in the slot okay from the above discussion it can be concluded that multi turn coils are having used to reduce the cost of the machine in case of large generators where the shutter currents exceed 1500 amps single turn coil is employed because single turn coil the thickness will be very high okay the single turn bar windings the cross sectional area the cross sectional of the conductors is quite large because of large current hence in the in order to eliminate the eddy current loss in the conductors stator conductors to be standard each slot of the stator conductor consists of two standard conductor as shown in the figure this one okay the dimensions of the individual standards are selected based on electrical considerations and the manufacturing requirements normally the width of the stands is assumed between 4 mm to 7 mm the depth of the stands is limited based on the considerations of eddy current losses and hence it should not be exit 3 mm the very stands of the bar are transposed in each uh, in such a way to minimize the circulating current loss this is the diagram okay um, winding ground location copper windings slot armor uh, winding shot turn insulation okay multi turn coil so here we are going to wound only one coil that is your bar type when we come for multi turn we are going to wound in a single slot two coils with insulations okay this part is called lip and this is which top liner this one is a top liner slot liner is this one slot liner and coil insulation this will be the coil insulation between this coil and this coil uh, and coil separator this one is a coil separator okay. coil insulations conductors this and this are the conductors okay multi tile multi turn coils formed wound this coils are made of insulator high conductivity copper conductor mic of um, paper insulations are provided for the portion of coils in the slots and varnished mica tape or cotton tape insulations provided on the wall rank portion the thickness of the insulation is decided based on the voltage getting from the machine multi turn coils are usually arranged in double layer winding as shown in the figure thank you